Hey guys, we are on part three of our TARDIS 20 locked fillet mesh crochet uh, afghan square, I suppose you would call this. Uh, I am doing this video for the second time because my first one, I had some sort of glitch in the sound. So now my, my yarn is just all messed up. I hope it doesn't affect the video, but I had to pull it apart because there was no way anybody could watch that video and actually hear me. So here we are trying again. First time for you, second time for me. And we are at row 20, which means we're looking at the wrong side, which I actually still kind of like. And we are working, always start with our main color. For me, is this navy blue, chain three. And if you've been watching my other ones, you'll see you can chain four if you chain tighter than me or you don't like the way this is turning out. Uh, there are other options such as like a standing double crochet, things like that. Chain three is what I like, but... Do what you like, it's your project. Our accent color, that's white for me. I've got it off to the side. You could use a stitch marker. I don't want to. So I'm just hanging on to it. Now we'll do three in the back. One, two, three. One front, one back. Six in the front. I do hope these videos are helpful for at least some of you. Um, I know some of you have finished your squares. I did the first two parts on the YouTube already, but the whole pattern is already free. So if you can figure out how to read the pattern, you're golden you can just keep going right so I'm not sure if the rest of these videos are going to be helpful for anyone but it feels weird to leave it incomplete so I'm going to make the videos anyways I think that should be six let's count one two three four five six one back one front one back front back I have received feedback saying that you like having the pattern written on the screen, so I will keep doing that. And you want my chatter to be minimal, so I will do my best. Two front, one back. The less chatter, the faster I can crochet maybe too, hey? I'll give it a try. And stitch right in that last window. I'm not using a stitch marker, just making a long tail, hoping I won't pull it out accidentally. Um, get my loop on my hook here. I have pulled before. You think it's on the hook and you give it a yank. It's not on the hook and off your stitch goes. Chain three in the back. Of course, you already know. That in the back part is just telling you where it should be. You can't do anything now. You'd have to undo your whole row. There are also fixes. You could do a topical fix, but at this point I would just undo the row. Five in the back. Two front, one back. There we go. Two front, five back. I'm hoping that I can learn mosaic, like the technique of mosaic crochet really soon and then I'll be able to show you how to do my patterns in mosaic. It'll be something that you can learn but first I have to learn. I can't really teach unless I learn. I think I figured it out but I have to actually do it to make sure. One 
one front, two back. and in the back. I was telling in the other video that I had made, I was telling you guys how I had been working on that moonlight on the city shawl and I had been doing so much crocheting that I actually you never read a word and you read the same word so many times that it just becomes useless. That's what I did to myself with the crocheting and suddenly I got to like an end in the back stitch and I couldn't figure out how to do it. I was just like, I, I don't know how to remember how to crochet. Where do I put my hook? I kind of laughed at myself because I'm like, that's kind of silly. But that was how my brain was. Just trying to do so many, too many projects on the go, you know. So we're back to our right side. Accent color is going to stay here in the front. Out of the way, though. Chain 3, 1F. 1 back. 2 in the front. Oops, nice little string there. One back, four in the front, one back. Two in the front, one back, four in the front, back front and stitch now row 23 make sure you get it on the hook before you pull Chain three in the front, dun, dun, dun. one front, back front. Sometimes I can hold three instructions in my head at once. Mm, so far I did not move my mouse, I don't know which row I am. There we go. Two in the back. Actually, if I believe, I think it's three to four pieces of information is how much the average grown up can hold in their head. I remember learning that in school. I have a psych degree. You know that? BA in psychology, but it was a long time ago, so I'm not sure I remember everything. Six in the front. There are ways to practice. So like if you're remembering a phone number, if you can think of the first three digits as one chunk of information, then you can actually remember more digits because a phone number typically would be seven digits, right? An area code plus the seven digits. It's kind of fun stuff. The things you can learn here, crocheting with Ashley. Maybe you're like, whoa, Ashley, I thought you said we were not going to be chatty. Yes, okay, I won't. Shush. Two in the back. Five in the front.
end in the front. Oops, I got a little snag there. Little tail, move my mouse so I know where I am. We are going full blazes here. Is that the saying? I don't really know. Full blazes? Maybe. Chain three. Two in the back. One front, three in the back, one in the front, two in the back. One front, three in the back, five in the front, One in the back and an end stitch. Makes kind of nice skull pattern on the back too, hey? This is row 25. We're halfway through this chunk. Five in the back. I probably will turn it off and double check that my sound is working this time. So we'll just have one little split in the nice video. Two front. One in the back. Oops, get back on there. Oops, now I did too many. Two in the front. Five in the back. So this square is feeling like it's taking forever to get to the end of the row. It was kind of funny because the moonlight on the shawl, the moonlight on the city shawl was like uh, way more, way more to get to the end of the row. But you get used to things pretty quick, okay? One, two, three, four. I could tell you psychology about that too. <laughs> but I won't. I don't have the brain power today. Two front. But the plasticity of the mind does intrigue me. How we accommodate things, learn things, get used to things. One in the back. Forget to be less chatty, you know, things like that. <laughs> and in the back, I'm gonna stop it here and check my sound. The sound looks good, guys, we'll keep going. This is row 26. There we go, chain three. Although now I'm gonna have to double check that this sound is good. Like, I don't know what happened. One video was fine, the next video wasn't, so. Two in the front. Pretty sure my daughter came in and interrupted the video anyways, so it wasn't like the cleanest video. It was kind of cute to hear. 
one in the back, three in the front, One back, or one front, six back, My yarn tangle keeps getting closer and closer. It's like the shark circling. Da -da, da -da, da -da. When am I going to cause big problems? One, two, three, four, five. One more. <laughs> there we go. One front, one back. Three in the front and stitch. Row 27, chain 3 in the front, 8 stitches in the front. See now this is more than 4 pieces of information, it's 8 stitches, but you think of it as one thing. It's one chunk of 8 stitches, that's why you can remember more than 4 stitches at a time. Just in case you're wondering, I'm sure nobody out there was wondering. This is useless information with Ashley. Two in the back, one in the front. Two in the back, making little windows. Five in the front. And in the front. Oops, bonked my stuff off the table here. That's okay. We're getting close. 28, chain three. Back my color out of the way. One stitch in the back. Two in the front. I can't remember if it was the video I erased or the second part where I was talking about how this yarn is so squishy. <laughs> 10 in the back. 10 stitches in the back means I get like 10 seconds to talk, right? But I did buy this yarn. It's not just a scrap yarn that somebody gave me in a tight little ball that they used and forgot about for 20 years. And it's got stretch and soft and springiness and it does make a difference using yarn that's not really old and used and musty and I do appreciate getting these random balls because 
you know, I didn't have to pay for them and people just thought of me and gave me yarn and I like that. But there is something nice about having a fresh skein. It's not a ball. It's all wrapped up nicely in a skein with a, a label and everything. Ready? Eight. Nine. Ten. To front. Oops, if we can keep it on the hook. There we go. One back. One front. Two back. And stitch. This will be the last row we do for this video. Row 29. Chain three in the back. One, two, three. Five stitches in the back. One. Two, three, four, and five. Two front. I can hear my daughter just got home. Dad took them out on a walk, so she's going to come in and she's probably going to say something. One in the back. Oh, it's my son. He also says things, but he's not as good at stopping. He's only three. Two in the front. Three in the back. Hi, sweetie. I'm just making a video. Four in the front. He did really good. We're almost to the end of this row, and it's good timing. Kids are home. And edit it up, get it posted for you guys. Four in the front, then one back, and end in the back. Crochet faster! There we go. We're almost done. And this time I'll use my stitch marker because it'll sit on my table for a few days until I'm ready to keep going. So that is what it looks like. Where Next time we'll start at row 30. And next time we will be working on the front at the beginning. So... Kind of fun. Thanks for watching guys.